Eight. <laughs> There's a thing. Oh my god. I didn't even know it was here. Oh my god, I, I've been trying to find that eight button, like... Like, the whole time yesterday. Like, just trying to figure out one of the best little things that you can find in this game. And it was literally just on this keypad behind the boss's desk. You All you had to do was just keep hitting the 8 button until you hear just a random 8 <laughs> in the background. Oh my god, that... I hear that every fucking time when I watch Proton John's streams. He has like... I, I honestly thought it was just a giant button that said 8 on it, and you had to keep pushing it until... He says, uh, good job, Stanley, but I guess, I guess in all honesty, that was animated and like, it was just a piece of random bit. Anyways, <laughs> now that that's settled, hello everybody, Mr. Bright Guy here for another session, or basically the part two session of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe for Steam and the Nintendo Switch. We have gone through probably more than half of the endings in the last session. So now, from here on out, we're going to do the rest of the half. And I kind of wanted to do the blue door ending again. I feel like I've missed something else to that part. Like when I fell into purgatory and like <laughs> the, narr uh, the narrator was all like, well, he's down there and lost. Might as well not... Like, might as well not go rescue him or anything, he's just in his own little mind. <laughs> just like Sigma Overwatch. But yes, um, we're gonna go through the rest of the endings, and then we're gonna go through the Ultra Deluxe content for this version. And um, yeah, that's also for the Switch, too. Um, and then we're gonna figure out about the cheater's ending in the original game. I had to go and... I had to actually go and install the old version as well on my Steam library. Wait a minute. Actually, wait. I've never been through this before, actually. I'm actually curious. Let's go up. I actually want to see what where this leads me. Ooh. Nice music. Jeez, somebody left their papers here. Is he humming? You can actually hear the narrator humming. That's amazing. Also, some of the papers are glowing. Actually, yeah, how long is this gonna take? I could just be... I could probably just be, like, stuck in this elevator. In fact, I don't think there should be any elevator that's higher than the boss's office. Okay, that is weird. We ended up back to where we were. How is that possible? What? <laughs> Was there nothing to that? Okay, I'm gonna... Let's go down. You can actually, like, hear him humming to the elevator music. That's amazing. Also, I noticed this, like, lighting texture error on the side of this elevator doors. Yeah, you know what? I don't think this... 
I think it was just vibrating us because there was like no I don't think there was any other way this elevator was going to go. Yeah, there there's nothing to that unless there is. And I needed to do like some sort of puzzle to do it. I mean, I can go in here too. This is the bathroom. But there's nothing else to it. Okay, so I might have messed up on that one. I'm going to have to start over. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to show that, you know? Show the bathroom and then show the elevator that never goes anywhere. You just listen to the music while it's vibrating. But I wanted to... All of his co-workers... I wanted to actually go back to the way I was and, um... Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I actually want to... Yeah, I'm going to pick the red door this time. To put your work aside, to let her back into your life, she's been waiting. Now, I need to figure out the context about that. Like, did they get divorced or, or like, she wants to come back? Like, what happened? And since, yeah, and since I called her last time i'm gonna actually unplug the phone that's her stanley you need to be the one to do this oh i love how the light just shines where the plug you is too to like place your faith in another then pick up the phone you know what i'm just gonna do this as stanley picked up the phone a white light engulfed him filling him not just with radiance but with hope hope for a life reunited one Wait, oh goodness, <laughs> Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Why, yes. It wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let you think? You, you think? I've been doing that this whole time. Here, clear as day, Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white. Yeah, I don't think that ever happened. We did that before. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. <laughs> I have not noticed it sooner. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> Uh-oh. I can't believe I was so mistaken. You're not the real Stanley. Incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you have made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that. I mean, at this. My watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decisions. I mean, to be fair, I would have called my wife. This helpful instructional video. Wait, we're going to watch him. Oh my god. Being a real person. Oh my god, they're actually going to tell me this. Be the most dangerous. For example, I had to pick what's right or wrong. A hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Hi, Rupert. He a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Uh, well, he could spend years of hard work forgetting how that would just make the extinction of animals. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you fish. Yourself, <laughs> yes, the correct answer is fish. <laughs> in all likelihood, that person is not. Two plus Allow the <laughs> two plus two equals moo. Destroy us all! You cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying. My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A what? What and a what? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. And yep, that's you. Should subside. I'm At just another time, star in the galaxy. I'll guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. 
Ah, welcome back. Well, what the? Noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate what? as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Where did all these forklifts come from? This one's clipped through the wall. We visit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. Oh my god. <laughs> they really want me to do this again. They really want me to answer the phone. So this one is supposed to be uh Yeah, this one is supposed to be the the corrupted ending. It says here up until unplug the phone for the most fun. Do the opposite what the narrator says, but that's not required. Just keep playing. Okay. I'm, I'm just taking a look around this room, too. Like, even the texture is a little bit corrupted. Some of the texture has been stretched. Um, especially that one. There's so many forklifts clipped through the walls here. All right. I'll do what he says. We're just probably going to go back to where we were, right? Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be it. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we Wait, what? have you jumping off the platform and dying. They, he put a fence. Dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Oh my god. He's trying to protect me now. The narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, I mean, to be fair, this is the safest way now, like This is this should really be a reality. Just put a fence. There's no, like, there, there, there's no reason to, like, not have a fence. You could just plunge yourself to your doom. All right, we're going back. Wait a second. This was supposed to be the way to the meeting room. I guess we're going back to our desk. <clears throat> this is going back to the employee's lounge. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Might as well, right? Actually, yeah, um... No, that's not the right door. This is the now two... Remember, okay. All you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the <laughs> Put safety first. Line. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <laughs> he entered the door on his left. God, I... My instinct wants me to disobey him, but I have to do this. Is this going to take me to the meeting room? It is, too. Yet there was not a single person here either. Wait, what? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. There's still the broom clo- Wait, is this going to the normal- to a staircase, Wait. Walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, there's no st there's no staircase going down. He- No, this is still the corrupted ending. Okay. I th I thought. Took me for a second. Okay, what else is here? Wait, hang on. The si the sign is not there. Oh, what the? Oh. Something's different about the, the boss's office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, hmm. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who... I wonder what's actually different about this. The door ...with a voice receiver next to it. A voice receiver? Stanley ...behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Okay. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was Please speak correctly into the receiver. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, uh -oh. he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Is he actually... Do I have to actually... Night Shark 115? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark I am the most... Ex he spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? 
I can't speak up. I please speak the code into the receiver. Come on. There's no voice box. Come on now. There's no like text to speech or anything or like fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice. Then why did you tell me to come here, huh? Right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be out. <coughs> Follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, I'm actually wondering if uh, it's going to be different. Like, how was I supposed to do anything? Like, there is the walk around button and the interact button. There's no jumping, but there's crouching for some reason. But I guess the crouching is for like when you do the uh, out of bounds ending. But... I couldn't do anything like I was speaking up and I guess it doesn't do that in this game. I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure the Nintendo Switch doesn't do that either. So I'm going to do this again as it, not a single person here either. I'm going to do this exactly as he said too. wait, what? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means oh, oh, always putting the story first. Oh, no, sure you'll be up to the task. I, I think we hit the reset button too many times. When Stanley came to uh -oh. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We just passed like the broom closet and that just clicked something. All right, let's go in again. Is it going to happen again? There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh, it happened again. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and oh always God. putting the story first. Are, are we going to keep repeating time. this part now? Follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stan yeah, it says... Um, two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, I just have to keep playing. I have to keep going to the left door. I have to keep doing this. Yeah, this is not right. Is it? Yet there was not a single person yeah, I'm going to... Feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh God! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing oh God. responsibly and always. Oh no! <laughs> I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow. It says I just have to keep playing. Oh no! <clears throat> when I think this game is now corrupted. <laughs> doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait.